Hello, collective. Let's get your daily message. What do you need to know right away? Whenever you click on this, whenever you receive this, it may be for you, past, present, and future. Message for the collective, for the viewer. What do you need to know at this moment? Messages of love and light. Seven of Wands reverse. Maybe ready to give up on something. Got the Three of Cups. Nice. Six of Wands. Success. Connections. Friendships. King of Swords. Head over heart. And you have the Five of Swords here. It did come out sideways. So that may be a bit of conflict. Okay. Part of you wants to be left alone to yourself, but a part of you also wants to be out celebrating with others. You want to let your guard down, but there's some type of reason why you're not doing that. I saw 111 on the clock. Okay, so it's like you could have a new beginning. You could be trying to protect something and you don't want to involve anyone out of this um, fear or even just like, mm, I don't want to say even discernment, but... Mm. You have some type of doubt or some type of awareness that makes you feel that if you share your success or you share your ideas with someone or even a group of people, family, friends, lover, that they may kind of like throw salt on your game or they may discourage you from moving forward with this. It's like as long as you stay to yourself about it then you feel like it's going to be successful. But that also bothers you because you want to share your success with others. You want to share your joy, your happiness with others. The King of Swords coming out makes me feel like... You have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. King of Swords coming out makes me feel that this is something that you've worked on for a very long time. Okay, you've been very strategic, calculated when it comes down to this idea. All right, so you're not just, you're not trying to be willy-nilly about it. You're not trying to just be careless about how you, you know, or who you allow into this. Very particular about whatever this plan is. Like, you planted that seed and you're very careful about what it is. Like, it could even be a pregnancy. You know, it could be something very precious to you. You feel like it's good news. You feel like it'll be, you know, prosperous and abundant, but you feel like if you share it with others, they may drop their negative seeds into it. And the thing that bothers you about this is causing some type of anxiety is that you feel that these are people that are supposed to support you. These are people that are supposed to, you know, uplift you, encourage you, but you feel like some of these people that you, that are dear to you are usually the ones that kind of disappoint you the moment you let your guard down. What else we got here for the collective? Yeah, two of swords reverse. You know, a bit indecisive here and trying to come up, you know, up out of that. You're really trying to make a decision. Yeah, you got the devil here. It's very obsessive energy. You could have very controlling people or manipulative people around you that have a tendency to convince you to let your guard down. And then the moment that you do, the moment that you open up, you feel like, damn, why did I do that? Now they're, they're disappointing me. The Four of Pentacles reverse. Same energy as the Seven of Wands reverse. You know, it's like this need of needing to let go, needing to be open, needing to release that grip or hold or something or drop that guard. But it's like, damn, knowing that if you drop that guard, the consequences of it. Whatever you're working on is going to be successful. It's going to be successful. Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah. Setting yourself free from any type of uh, mental limitations. Like maybe a part of this could just be in your mind too, collective. Like you could just be thinking of this negatively because of your previous experiences. Um, when I was shuffling, I did see the Six of Cups, which reminds me of like being reminiscent or nostalgia. All right. And sometimes it's just like being stuck in the past. And so sometimes you could be stuck in the past to a space where you obsess over it with the uh, devil being here. It's like an obsessive energy of it can't work out or it's not going to work out. I'm going to just stay to myself. But you know good and well, you want to share this with others. You want people to know 
you're going to keep it quiet for now. That's just that's the, the more safe and secure way of going about it. You're going to keep it to yourself just because of what you've been through. You don't want everybody to know your business. Hangman reverse. All right. Uh, let's pull out our major arcana. Double energy could be a Capricorn that you are or are dealing with or you could have those placements. Um, hangman energy, Pisces, as well as Virgo energy could be dealing with or you could be. Okay. So um, also tons of air here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like, for the most part, whatever you've been working on is going to be successful. You know it's going to be successful. You know it's a great idea. That's the reason you don't want to spoil it by telling other people what you have going on. It's disappointing that you've experienced that in the past. But I feel like, uh, you know, again, the Nine of Wands, the energies of the Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands, they all represent the same thing to me. Okay, in my mind, like it's it's this guarded, this last man standing, this unwilling to bulge, unwilling to move type of energy. Like I I don't need nothing else. I, I got it. I'm cool. It's like closed off energy because of some type of resilience, overcoming some type of obstacle in the past. The nine of wands reverse. Each of those cards though are in the reverse. So it makes me feel that this is something that has already happened. You've already been disappointed after opening up. You've already been there, done that. I feel like it's not what's going on right now. The three of cups is here and it came out first with the six of wands. It's like you have people that are going to uplift you. You have people that are going to support you. You have people that you can trust. Like don't obsess over the past because it seems like there's a lot of obsession over the past here. And it's creating unnecessary blockages for you or unnecessary, like, anxiety for you. You do not have to go through that. This ain't that is what I'm hearing. This ain't that. Yeah, some reverse. Some of y'all could be a Leo or dealing with one. It's, it's this, like, unhappiness, this dissatisfaction. Because even though you have success, it's like, at what cost? At what cost you could be feeling like you, like, what's the point of having all of this if I can't share it with someone, someone that I could trust, someone that understands where I've been from, like, where, where I've come from. That's one of the greatest feelings, like, when you can share that testimony with someone who knows what you've endured, who knows what you've been through. But when you have to just keep it all to yourself, if it may feel good. It may feel like, yes, I did that, a reward, but... What is it if you cannot share it with someone that you love? So that's what's creating some type of conflict for you. You want to share your ideas. You want to share your success. You want to share like this, this, this story, this testimony with someone or a group of people that are dear to you. But at this particular time, you don't trust them. As simple as that. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get, um, a guided message here from the Oracle deck. Okay. And let's just see what the spirit guides have for you. Any advice they have for you in regards to this conflict that you're experiencing. That really is unfortunate because, man, this is like <laughs> whatever you have going on, this is really good for you. It's like you, you've been telling people that this is something you're excited about. You've been waiting on this. You've been manifesting this. And now that it's finally coming through for you, it seems like all the people that you would have like shared this with they didn't fell off <laughs> let's see what's going on what messages does spirit have for you message for the collector what do they need to know in regards to the situation good message oh the river dances to the sea power of the number three it could be an aries or an uh pisces okay it says flow state trusting in the adventure the river dances to the sea. All right. I'm going to read what that is for. It did come out in the upright. I love that. So let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. Key concepts. Flow state, movement forward, a quickening of events, trusting in the adventure. Movement and the continuous evolution of life is a given. Nothing can stay blocked or frozen forever. Eventually, the rivers begin to flow in the direction of its destiny, always to the sea, that vast container teeming with potentiality. 
Source is always calling you home to your ultimate manifestation and destiny. Now is the time when things begin to move again in your life. Events and opportunities will arise to invite you to experience life in a new way, calling you to an adventure you must not resist. This is a time of flow, not control. Allow relationships to take their course. Trust in the natural abundance that comes your way. New experience will bring you into a greater sense of meaning, inspiration, wholeness, and purpose. Go where spirit takes you, even when the river turns in a different way than you expected. These waters will carry you onward to the ultimate fulfillment of your deepest desires. So, that being said, Collective, again, I feel like it's to say that, you know... Whatever is happening, for sure you have abundance coming through. And I love that green energy. I love even like the crown on the head of this spirit guide. It makes me feel that this is like abundance. You did that. You won that. You have the nine of wands here. You did it. You know, but uh, trust in the journey. Trust in the process. I know we hear it often and it may be cliche. We don't like cliche. I don't like cliche. However, it is something that you deserve you deserve this too it's not just for the movies it's not just for other people to experience like you deserve a reward too you deserve to feel accomplished and successful as well all right so all your hard work was not for nothing you are seeing the fruits of your labor and you know rather than focusing on others how they may feel about it or wanting to share with them take a moment to just be happy to be grateful that you have that okay enjoy it on your own is what i'm getting with this because there's a lot of stress that's even coming with the idea of telling other people your news anyway so i feel spirit wants you to just trust in the adventure trust in the fact that you did something right okay open your mind up to the like possibilities what more can you do if you're in this energy and you're in this frequency, what more can you receive? What more can you do for yourself? Okay, so remove the idea of three. I see three here as well as the three of cups here. Okay, so you, you really are one of those type of people you love to share. That's just who you are. That's how you've always been possibly. You love to share. You love to share. But maybe this time, Collective, this is just for you. This is just for you. Okay, even when I look at the six of wands, you know, you see all those people out there in the crowd, but, you know, she's standing on that throne on her own. This is her reward. This is her success. All right, so enjoy your success. Enjoy your reward. Sometimes it's not about everybody, and that may bring you some type of disappointment, but even in both of these cards, like with her arms thrown up and thrown out, it's like a win. That W is what I see. It's a win. Okay, don't turn it into a disappointment or a loss because you have to stand on it alone. You're like, oh my God, I feel so great. But where are my people at? Where's all my supporters at? Where's all the people that I wanted to see? You know, where they at? Where they at though? <laughs> it's not for them. It's not for them. It's for you. <laughs> it's this song I was just listening to by Candy called it's for you you might want to listen to that <laughs> and take that as spirit's message to you this reward is for you it's all for you it ain't nobody else's so don't expect everybody to clap for you all the time and like this is what you want this is what you want and it's like this is the same person it's the same energy this is what you want this is you you want everybody there to see you win but when you look at this sun card, the yes card, the success card as well, there's nobody there. It's just you and God. That's you and spirit. Enjoying that, appreciating that. But you're like, I, I wanted everybody to see it. It's not for everybody. It's only for you, collective. And I believe that is what your spirit message is for the day. Whatever you've been working on, you've been you know, putting your blood, sweat, and tears into, you're about to get that reward, okay? And... It may be disappointing that you cannot share that with everyone else or everyone is not going to stand for you and clap for you and be happy for you. And that is why you should take a moment to just appreciate it yourself. Don't allow anybody to steal that moment by you just, you just can't wait to tell them and you can't wait to share with them. It's not for them. It's just for you. It's just for you. And that is what I have for you. I love you guys. I hope it helps and I'll see you next time.